All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we're gonna to be walking through an exercise from the QBO Gym. The QBO Gym is a practice set of exercises that gives you simulated experience of actually being a bookkeeper. As you can see, we're organized by month. Every month you get a new set of exercises and the exercises are organized uh, into these four different sections. So we are gonna be working on an exercise from the warm up section. Inside each section, you have a little video that uh, talks about what has happened to Craig this month. Um, and then there's a little quiz about the video. And then you have um, the links for each of the different exercises. So the one we're working on in, uh, in this video is we're going to be doing this exercise right here. Now for this exercise, you're gonna need to download the checks that you received from Craig. We're gonna be processing payments that have come in, and so Craig has received these checks. Up underneath the video, you'll notice that there is a little download link here to download those checks, and when you do that, you get uh, a document that looks like this. Actually, let me like make it a little bigger so you can see it. Okay, so it's a little, uh, it looks like this. So it looks like you've actually received these checks, and then you're gonna to have to process these payments in this exercise. All right, so let's go back and uh, we're gonna click and walk through the actual exercise. So we're gonna start in the sample company. Uh, if you don't know how to get your free QBO A account, that's QuickBooks Online Accountant account, and you don't know how to access the sample company, of course, links about that are below as well. But all of these exercises, uh, you use the sample company. So let's go ahead and read our scenario. Craig received three checks since you last visited. You will need to apply them to their outstanding invoices. Click the link beneath the warm-ups video to grab a copy. We'll use them for this exercise, okay? So this right here is what we're talking about, okay? All right, so let's, uh, we're gonna start with Freeman Sporting Goods who sent in check number 4023 for $85. Okay, let's look at that. So here's the check from Freeman Sporting Goods. Oh, I guess my little highlighter doesn't work here. <laughs> Freeman Sporting Goods, check number 4023, $85, okay? All right, step one, we're gonna click plus new and select uh, receive payment. So here we are in our sample company, click plus new and then select receive payment. While that's loading, we'll go back to our exercise. Step two, in the customer field, start typing Freeman. Notice that Freeman Sporting Goods has three locations. How do you know which location the payment is from? We'll start with the first one, select Freeman Sporting Goods. Okay, so here again, I'm gonna type Freeman. Okay, so notice here's the three different locations. Here's the main location, Freeman Sporting Goods. Then we have a location at 55 Twin Lane and the location of 0969 Ocean View Road. So notice it says sub-customer of, you can't read the whole thing, but that's Freeman Sporting Goods. Okay, so you've got these three there. We're gonna start uh, looking for open invoices for the first one, which is Freeman Sporting Goods. Okay, and going back to our exercise, step three. This results in an error message because there are no invoices for the parent company. And of course, you just saw that. I clicked off of it pretty fast. But right here, it says Freeman Sporting Goods doesn't have any open invoices, okay? So that's not the right one. So we're gonna click X, then click yes to confirm that you want to leave without saving, okay? So right here, I'm gonna click this X up here, and then I'm gonna say, yep, I wanna leave without saving because this is not who this payment is for. Let's see what our instructions say next. Step four, let's look for it a different way. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna select sales and then customers, okay? So right here, sales and then customers. Going back to our exercise, step five. Using the search bar, begin typing Freeman then select Freeman Sporting Goods from the pop-up, okay? So right here, we're gonna search for Freeman, okay, and we're gonna select the first one. This is the parent company. 
All right, going back to our exercise, step six. The resulting transaction list displays all the transactions for Freeman Sporting Goods, including the subcompanies or those other locations. Let's narrow down this list to just open invoices. Okay, so we're gonna click Filter. Then in the Type drop dropdown, select Open Invoices and click Apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Oops, not the checks, but there we go. Okay, so here is the filter. So we're gonna click that for the type. We're gonna select Open Invoices, okay? And then we're gonna click Apply. All right, so here are the open invoices from Freeman, okay? So step seven. From here you can see that there are two overdue invoices. The first one was for $54, but only has $4 remaining due. The second one is for $81. Both of these together are $85, which is the amount of the check they sent. Okay, so let's look at that more closely. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so here was the original total of the invoice, but some payment on this one has already been applied, apparently, $50. So now there's $4 remaining on this one, and here's $81. So we know we received $85, and we know that these two together are 85. So the payment must be for these two invoices right here. Okay, so let's see what to do next. Click Receive Payment for the first of the two invoices, okay? So uh, back in my sample company, I'm just gonna click Receive Payment for this first one. Okay, going back to my exercise, steps eight through 10. QBO will automatically check the invoice with the $4 balance that you selected. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, so it automatically assumed we're re this is the one we checked, right? So it's automatically assuming that we have $4 for this uh, invoice that has $4 uh, open. Um, let's see, check the box for invoice number 1028, which is the remaining $81. This will bring the total of the received payment transaction to $85, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna check this box. And now notice it says amount received is $85, and that's what we received, okay? So here's our checks. There's the check, $85, okay? All right, uh, use the payment method dropdown to select check, then enter the check number 4023 in the reference number field. Okay, so let's do that. Payment method is check. The reference number, I forgot it already, 4023. Okay, now let's see what the exercise says. Okay, note that deposit two is set to undeposited funds. For now, you're just marking the invoices paid. You will actually deposit, you will deposit the actual checks later, okay? Remember that undeposited funds is where they go temporarily until you have a chance to deposit them. So we're gonna do that later, okay? So we're gonna keep that as undeposited funds. And going back to our exercise, um, since we have more checks to deposit, we're gonna click Save and New. Okay, so going back here, we're gonna click Save and New. Okay, now let's go back to our exercise. So now we took care of Freeman Sporting Goods. Next, we're gonna take a look at John Melton. Okay, so in the Customer field, we're gonna enter John Melton. Okay, so it automatically, when we clicked Save and New, it automatically created a new received payment. So now we're gonna type in John Melton. Okay, notice that there is one outstanding invoice with an open balance of $450. Check this box, okay? So here's our invoice has an open balance, the original amount was 750, but apparently some, um, some amount has already been paid on it. So the open balance that's left is $450. So I'm gonna check that. 
Okay. Um, let's see. Check this box. Step three, use the payment method drop down to select check. Then enter the check number 2397 in the reference number field. Okay, here again, these are the checks. Here's the check from John Melton, 2397, $450. Oops, going back to here. He paid it with a check. I don't know why I can never ever remember, 2397. Again, it's going to undeposited funds. Uh, because we're going to deposit later. Since we have more checks to deposit, we'll click Save and New. Okay, so we're going to click the arrow here, click Save and New. All right, now finally, let's deal with Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Okay, finally, let's process the $150 check from Amy's Bird Sanctuary. In the Customer field, enter Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Okay. Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Note that, notice that there is one invoice that is outstanding. The original amount was $459, and the current balance is $239. Let's take a closer look at what happened. Click invoice number 1021. Then, because you're not completing the, the receipt payment transaction, you'll need to click yes to confirm you want to leave without saving, okay? So we're gonna open up this invoice, and by doing that means, hey, we're canceling this receive payment transaction. We just wanna look at the invoice for right now. So I'm gonna click that and say, yes, I wanna leave without saving. And I'm not saving the receive payment, I just wanna look at the invoice, okay? So going back to um, our exercise, now going to, oops, did I finish steps one and two? Okay, yes. All right, steps three and four. Notice that there has been one payment made on this invoice so far, okay? Click one payment made to display the details of the previous payment. So here we go, one payment made, it says right up here, 220. If I click that, it'll open up the details, and say, hey, on this date, this amount was applied. Okay, so now we know, all right, well, that's what happened. Now I want to receive more money against this invoice. Okay, so now I'm going to click Receive Payment. Okay, all right, and steps five through seven. Note that QBO automatically assumes that you are receiving payment for the entire invoice. But Amy's check is only for $150. Let's look at that check again, okay? Here's the check from Amy's Bird Sanctuary, only $150, okay? Use the payment drop-down method to select check, then enter the check number 01059. Let's see if I can remember it this time. Check 01059, look, I did it. Okay, this is the last payment, oops, wait, in the payment field, oops, I did these out of order. In the payment field, or the amount received field, enter $150, okay? So right here, you can either enter it here, or you can enter it here and say 150, and you'll notice that it changed automatically up here, so now we're going to apply it to this invoice. Okay, so we got 150. I already did this because I did these out of order. Said check and then the reference number. It's going to undeposited funds because it's going there temporarily until we have a chance to deposit them. Um, this is the last payment you need to process, so click Save and Close. Oops, right here. This time we're gonna use the little down arrow and click Save and Close. All right, that's it for this exercise in the warm-up section. Next, we're going to take a look at um, adding the receipts for things that Craig has paid for. See you there.